I am the rose of the light, and I bring to this community of the Holy Spirit and to the mystical body of God throughout earth and a cosmos, my gift of love, the love of the light, and the unfolding rose with the petals of love of the heart. Therefore, beloved, I come to make possible your transition through light, light as the crystalline unqualified suchness, light as the crystal clear river of water of life. It is love that does personalize the light, that does quicken the heart and open it. Some have neat petals in a spiral unfolding about the heart, but others, even among you, yet have not unfolded the rose of light of the heart, choosing at times to retain the strident, the unmerciful, the hardness of heart. Thus the petals are not symmetrical, and the golden pink glow ray spiral that is a part of this pink rose is not as it should be for the coming of the Queen of Light. I would remind you that I have offered myself to assist you in the mastery of the fires of the heart in the intensification of love. Blessed ones, I pray that this love shall become such an all-consuming firing and desiring to be God where you are, that this city shall soon be in the name of Sanat Kumara, Lady Venus, the Queen of Light, the Goddess of Light, the Goddess of Purity. Surely that city of light that is set on an hill, that cannot be hid, that does light an entire world, that is seen across a cosmos, and that does guide the pilgrim of light to the place where he may eat the body and blood of Christ. He may drink of it, he may assimilate, he may become. Oh, let the presence of the Buddha, let the presence of the wife of the Buddha, let the love of the twin flames of the Buddha, so infire your heart to build upon love and upon love, and upon love, and so in love are you with the Buddha, beloved, that you simply cannot enter in to any other vibration for one another. You have heard this, beloved. You have known this even from the foundation of the worlds, and when you and your twin flame were sent forth into the matter cosmos, again the word was spoken to you, let love and only love be shared as you entwine your arms and share twin cups of love. Love will fulfill all the law. Love will overturn all tyrants and fallen angels. Love will seal you from all going astray and all temptation. Perfect love will cast out all unlike itself. Love is still the key, beloved. Therefore, when the tensions mount and disagreements come and there be strife inserted among the brethren, 
Let love be the recourse. Let love be at the moment all of thy desiring as you drop your defenses, drop your weapons, drop all desire for vindication, for any satisfaction whatsoever in the redeeming of the human ego. Let it all be dropped as you would indeed drop it to see the presence of your Lord Jesus Christ standing before you, standing before you in holiest love, and Magda attending with arms of flowers and joy. Behold the Lamb's wife. I shed tears of love for those who do not receive love, those all over the world who prefer any other manifestation but true divine love. It is the desiring of the Father, Mother, God, and of my own heart, beloved, that you should understand that unless some choose love and choose it ultimately before any adversary or circumstance, the true and real and undiluted intensity of the flame of divine love could go out on planet Earth. You have seen many tested in their responses and reactions to this community and what has been said about it, whether fact or fantasy. You have seen some with and without religion be turned to stones of hate and hate creation, while others have loved more tenderly, having the compassion of the Christ. Truly, may you understand that even millions have been tested by their response, whether to the false or the true report. For there cannot be the mystical body of God in the earth, or the light in the earth, or the messenger of God in the earth, or the chila of God in the earth, whereby that one will not be that testing, that stone of stumbling, and that two-edged sword. Some fall to the left, and some fall to the right. And as the intensity mounts of the force of anti-love, so even those called to be the embodiment of love respond to them the temptation to enter in to bitterness and its gall. Blessed ones, the trust wherewith we have given our love for so long must be kept, lest you place in jeopardy, as my cohort has said, so great a salvation possible to you and all whom you will touch with the vibration of love. I am rose of light, and I desire to call and to sing to the rose of light whose expression I am. For indeed, our Father, Mother, God is the rose of light. And I am the servant of the rose of light. Therefore, beloved, please sing with me now the song of the rose of light. From thy fragrant center light to thy petals blazing bright comes God's love intensely pure rose of light love will endure rose of light my power flows fiery silent majestic Through my being enfolded here, 
upon this community in this hour is one purposed and one pointed. It is the call to each and every one of every age to the practice of love, Christ love, God love, the love of the Father, the love of the Mother, the love of the Son, the love of the Holy Spirit, let these pour through you to one another and to every stranger, friend or foe, that does enter thy gate. Let love flow forth from your heart, no matter what its reception, no matter what is delivered to you. It is the practice of love as merciful love that will expand the cup and open the chalice of community for a deliverance from all oppressors. This is not a mere dictation we give. This is not a mere warning we give. You must not leave this court and leave behind you these words, for they are a warning and they are a sign unto you care for one another, and let love be without dissimulation. Let love be your only reaction to whatever is done to you, given to you, whatever the hurt, whatever the stripes, whatever it be, beloved. So let the heart pour forth love. I tell you this, sent also, by the Father, Mother, God, and I come sent by the lords of karma. You need to pass this test as never before, and there is no time to fail it and receive it again. You must wear some sort of reminder upon your person that you live each day to pass the test of love. Love as tolerance, love as patience, love as gratitude, love as self-givingness and receivingness. Above all, love as the merciful, compassionate heart that must forgive in order to be forgiven, that must love in order to be loved, and that heart of yours needs loving for the resurrection, for the path, for the ascension, for the new birth. Yes, beloved, if you are to succeed as a community of light, to spread this message abroad, your love must become so great as God's love, 
And as you recognize God is love within you, that it does melt by the very fervor of love, continually pressing out, love desiring to be love, as to melt down all barriers and to be the mighty conversion of the Holy Spirit, beginning with your own soul and then reaching out to those whose hearts have been as stones and stones toward ye all and yet whose hearts can truly be melted by love. This is love with a capital L. It is not possessive love. It is not human love, although it does endow human love with the fire of purity. This love, beloved, is the love of a cosmos, the love of creation, the love of Elohim, whereby you were created in the beginning. For the act of cosmic creation, beloved, is love. And without love, there can be no creation. Seek love with all your heart, and do not forget, and do not make the angels who tend this place to cover their ears, for they desire not to hear strident tones and criticism and harshness. Beloved, we speak to you, for it is beyond now the ability of the messenger to convert you to love. The words have been spoken. You can no longer rest in your hardness of heart whether towards one another, or toward your God, or toward the law, or toward the law of your karma, you must know that love is the meaning of the path. And if you will not take the trouble to expand the light, 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 light of love in your heart, then I say the light, 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 light love of your heart and of God's heart will bring love's judgment. And love's judgment is the judgment of the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit has begun in the planet. And surely, as I live this day, and I speak to you in the name and by the voice of the lords of karma, I prophesy to you that except ye be converted by love this night, and cast all else into the fire, and forgive all, and seek forgiveness, you shall know in time the judgment of the holy spirit for your rejection of so great a gift of love of the great white brotherhood of lord moria l who has succored you and laid down his life for you again and again may you hear this voice and know it is the truth and know that this argumentation and strife and rivalry etc this deception one toward the other and all manner of human consciousness that was a part of the children of israel whereby they spent 40 years in the wilderness may not be allowed to manifest again merely because your ancient karma is upon you you are greater than that karma and i am rose of light and you shall know through me the fierceness of Kali this night. As you understand the reprimand of the Divine Mother and her cosmic spanking, wake up, I tell you, and let your hearts give room to the Prince of Peace, who is the Christ of love. All missions shall fail, lest you bring love to its glory and to its height in this hour. Even the mission of the Lord Jesus Christ shall not have that ultimate resolution and resurrection in this age where his true teachings cover the earth unless you assimilate that teaching and dow it with love and let that love cover the earth. I tell you, beloved, you cannot know, but one day you shall know if you do not hear me in this hour, what price shall be paid by anyone who does not heed the call of love 
and recount and recite in his heart with overflowing tears of gratitude and joy what the great white brotherhood has given since the dispensation of the ashram notes and the worldwide ashram of El Moria in 1952. May all of you reckon the years and know that you are the recipients of all gifts and initiations unto this moment. In order to retain them from this moment on, you must reflect the love of your holy Christ self. Be ye therefore converted in this hour by the God of love and cast yourselves on the rock of Christ that the overlays of hardness of the fallen angels, of the froward heart, of the dweller on the threshold of the carnal mind might be broken and broken once and for all. You must know that at a point in every individual's life there is time no longer to choose. For the law does speak, and the right hand of God does descend. And when it does descend, beloved, it cannot be turned back. Know then that this is the hour of the conversion of love. Let all receive my word and know that I may say and speak what the law allows, but I may not speak what it does not allow. Therefore, I may not prophesy further this night. I may not open the screen and show you a future, a future without your commitment and conversion to love. Therefore I say, guard the heart and guard the spoken word. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be spared as the children of God. Blessed are ye who send forth love with no withholding no matter what the circumstance. Yea, the Lord Gautama Buddha, yea, the Lord Jesus Christ, have it given you an example. Angels of heaven and ascended masters have given you an example. Love one another as they have loved you. Love one another as the hierarchy of light has loved you. And by this love convert the millions. By this Holy Spirit that cannot do aught but come into your house because you are so filled with the love of God. Let the teachings be endowed, endowed with a life that shall quicken all. I am your rose of light, your sister of love. I call my twin flame to true love, to the true path of the ascension, to the true victory of love. And I call all twin flames unascended of the hierarchy of light to now leave all else for the sake of love and survive unto the new day. I call to you present to call to your twin flames unascended or ascended, to heed the call of love and intensify it in your heart, even as you intensify it in their hearts. I call to the mandala of light bearers to be magnetized by the magnet of love that is now placed by Eros and Amora in this community as a force field of divine love. This magnet of love is so great, beloved, that those who 
allow themselves to become out of alignment with it, will not long remain here, for they will not be able to bear to be in the presence of that magnet while they entertain the perversions of the ruby cross in their beings. This then shall be the key to the salvation of community as well as the dividing of the way twixt the human and the divine. Your true self is the divine self, yet you have a human self. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. As for me and for the Queen of Light, we shall serve the light and the love of light, and we shall become the servants of all who do the same. With absolute love and the fire of Shiva and the presence of Kali, we come, and the sword of the ruby ray does descend for the dividing of the way and the cleaving asunder of the real from the unreal. It is done once, it is done twice, it is done thrice. Now, therefore, you have recourse in the heart of the Divine Mother. I seal you in the love potential of your own God-free being. May you elect this night to pierce that pearl that the holy oil of love might be the anointing of your being. I am the servant of the rose of light to be externalized in your heart.